Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out and where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so today I am bringing a product to you which I have recently reviewed. I'm always looking for products uh, which I'm very interested in. It's a hobby of mine. I have fine tech... Uh, fine hair texture myself but rather a lot of it and i've got some grown out highlights and at the moment i'm sporting um an undercut with a man sort of top knot style which i really really like now my highlights have sort of grown out a lot it's been about six months since i've had them on the 17th of december i am due to have it put back through so it looked really really cool super cool for the festive season for the winter period then i will leave it again for about another six months and then top it up uh that will be brink of the summer so it will be really really cool to do that and i'm quite looking forward to having a bit of a change i've got quite naturally dark hair so this product which i'm bringing to you is by provoke and this is a highlight boost now uh when you see this you'll probably think the highlights are way too grown out to actually experience any type of boost of color well the thing is with my hair i don't want that real vivid sort of uh look all the time i like having it done first of all and then when you've got that for the first couple of weeks it looks really really cool really modern and really quite um quite sort of like like you've got your own character about you, which I like. I, I, I really like to explore all different products and things, but having your hair highlighted, particularly if you've got fine textured hair, can give you so many different benefits as well. It can really boost volume. It can boost the texture in your hair, as well as giving you that fresh look. It can really kind of just make you feel really good about yourself. It's really important to feel confident and to do things good for you and to try different things for you. But it's important to make sure that you do it for yourself and you don't do it under peer pressure. You don't do it to fit in or anything like that at all. So if you're going to make a change to your hair, whether it be hair color, whether it be a new hairstyle or a new cut, men and women, then do it for yourself. Don't do it because you feel that you need to fit in or you feel that your style doesn't fit in with the people who you mix with or at work or perhaps you're a little bit sort of you've got a bit of a different style does not matter at all it's good to be different so for me i do it because i like to have my hair highlighted i've not been doing it for years and years and years only the past year to 18 months i've really tried having highlights throughout my hair and i really really like it i like that style um and i like the color which it brings to my hair so recently i've seen this by provoke which is the highlight boost okay and this is for all shades of highlighted or balayage hair now of course that's um predominantly for women's hair i understand but of course men have highlighted hair as well i really really like the um you know, when uh, Brad Pitt has got and Keith Urban have highlighted styles and it looks really cool, really kind of edgy, real kind of rock and roll type look. So I really, really like that. You know, those kind of PC looks where like the hair is quite cut into, it's quite chopped chopped into um and i really really like that fine textured hair so color can really really boost fine textured hair as well and it can really give a lot of life and a lot of character to it so that's what i like so i bought this under the impression that this may reawaken these sort of highlighted colors here and you may be looking thinking he's got really dark hair so very very quickly what i'm just going to do i haven't actually got a comb in front of me i'm just going to actually show you the highlighted hair so this is my hair here and you can see it's grown out and you can see it's really silvery. Can you see that? <laughs> can you see? So I've got the highlighted colour sort of towards the end. So you can see how far it's grown out. So I went for a real cool sort of tone, which I like. Now, I don't mean cool as in, hey dude, cool. I mean cool tone. So when you go for a, a highlighted style, you can have like a warm sort of blonde or you can have like a cool sort of blonde. And when I say cool, I mean like a like a, a real grey sort of pale, almost like a blue hue, like a like almost like a grey tone. Whereas if you go warm, it's that sort of yellowy traditional blonde look, which is fine if you want that. But for me, I didn't want that. So that, just to give you a little bit of an insight and a show there, that that is what I was trying to sort of bring a bit more life to. When I pass a straightener through my hair and I have my hair around my face, because it's just, it's past my chin now. So sometimes I wear it where it's sort of quite flicky, it's straightened. You'll see in my previous clips and I think it looks really, really good. And you can see I've got it back in like a top knot style now on the back. It's like a nice blonde, um, real cool, icy sort of tone, which I really, really like. I thought that this would bring a bit more life and a bit more shine back into it. And when I first have it done, you can see it's a little bit more of a warmer tone. But when I first have it done, it's 
a nice icy colour, a nice cool icy colour, but keeping that after a couple of months is really difficult. I love the grown out look, so when you've got it parted, I like that dark sort of fade which grows grows through, which is great. Another thing as well, don't have your hair highlighted too often because of course it absolutely destroys the texture of your hair and it destroys particularly fine hair, so just go really, really careful on that. Even if you look after your hair with intense nourishment, bleach has a toll, I don't care what anybody says, bleach has a toll on your hair if it's done too often. So this product, getting to it, so what was my expectations of this? Basically, I thought it was going to put me back to that real nice icy blonde look of the highlights when I had them first done. So let's talk about the shampoo here. So it says for all highlights of, uh, for all shades of highlights and balayage, shampoo brightens faded highlights. Exactly why I bought it. For a, for a vibrant colour, light reflectors. It's 200 mils. Just quickly on the back here, for all shades of colour treated hair with highlights or balayage. Um, so balayage, I believe, in women's hair is that real glamorous sort of look of blonde into a different hue of a colour, sometimes mixed into silver, sometimes into brown, sometimes dark, and you can also pull different colours through that as well. Like I've seen it with purple, plum through black as well, and it looks really amazing, really glamorous and really, really stunning on a lady. And thick, fine and thin hair all looks absolutely amazing, particularly when there's a um, like a wave throughout that as well, it looks really glamorous, really nice. So that's what a balayage is. Um, for me, of course, it's just the, the, uh, the highlights pulled through. And for a lot of men, that's what it would just be as well. Sometimes a little bit less and sometimes more than what I've got. I think in December, I'm going to try to have a little bit more just because I like the lighter tone, just explore what that would look like. And again, do that for yourself. If you feel like doing these things, take a moment to think about it and just sometimes just go for it. If you don't like it, there's always things you can do. You can cut it shorter and you can just explore with different things. It's really, really important to do it for yourself, not so you fit in. And if somebody's making you feel bad about it, we hear so many things, don't we? And I will just touch on this. If a man goes to a hairdresser and you think, yeah, highlights, okay, spends a little bit more time in there. People are quick to make assumptions. It means absolutely nothing at all about you. At the end of the day, it's just hair. It means very, very little. So please don't worry about that at all. I think we get very, very wrapped up in this life about what certain things mean and what they, people are very quick to make assumptions. And to be quite honest with you, people are quick to make assumptions because in my opinion, they've got, they've got nothing else to bother about or their life's that troubled or something's going on in the background. They just snipe at people. So I try to almost look at people and I actually forgive them and I actually think, bless you, because if you're actually taking that much time to control and have a look at me and actually to give me a look head to toe, then actually, number one, you either think that I look really, really good and actually, <laughs> and actually you're a little bit jealous or you're actually thinking something's really going on in my life. Look at that person. I wonder what they're up to. So I always try to see the best in things. I always try to see the good in people. And I think that's that's really important. And I think that really, really helps us through this life as well. So getting back to the product. So shampoo. So I tried this. Okay. So the Provoke Highlight Boost Shampoo brightens faded highlights and balayage for a vibrant hair color. The light reflecting particles instantly boost shine and keep hair color rich, preventing it from dulling. Leave it for one to three minutes. It says here, uh, wet hair, sorry, smooth, one to three minutes and then rinse. Optimum results achieved when you to provoke highlight boost conditioner which is this one here so very similar to the back again wet hair smooth leave to one to three minutes and then rinse it's got here the provoke highlight boost conditioner moisturizes and brightens faded highlights and balayage for a vibrant hair color the light reflecting particles instantly boosts shine and keeps hair color rich preventing it from dulling condition is enhanced by the keratin complex that helps to repair damaged hair by infusing moisture for silky and smooth hair which of course is vitally important because bleach does dry the hair out if you're doing it too often it can start to break the hair down it can really start to damage it and just look naff regardless of the color so okay how did i find it so i'll be very very honest with you i'll be honest i'm sad to say i didn't like it i paid five pounds each for these okay and i did i am aware you can see they're almost four bottles i've used it twice and didn't like it at all left it in for the recommended time and actually what i had to do is go back through and put the provoke purple shampoo through this to make it back a little bit cooler because i found what this done is made it really quite sort of boosted the yellow hue in the hair so for me it just warmed up the highlights which i've got remaining um and I really didn't like that. That's not what I opted for when I had it done. Um, really didn't like it. Didn't suit me at all. And I actually passed a straightener through my hair on the day I'd done this. And um, I caught a glimpse of myself whilst I was out. And uh, it was horrible. Really, really didn't like it. You could really catch. I think I was under... Um, in some sort of clothes store, um, Christmas preparations and things. And I was with a, a few people and I happened to, um, I happened to glance at myself in the mirror as you pass, um, in a store. And I, it was just 
I didn't like it. You could really tell that it had warmed up the highlights. Perhaps it was just the light I was under, of course, because warm light can necessarily do that to blonde hair as well. But I've never ever seen it, and I'm just putting it down for this product. I tried it a second time, and I noticed that, again, it did boost the warmth in my hair. So if you've got, like, a warmer uh, highlight in your hair, then this is brilliant for you. This would be really, really good. But for me, didn't like it at all. And on that note, that's the reason why I would not use this again. Um, did it agitate my scalp or my or my nape of my neck? No, it didn't. I did find that it made me ever so itchy at the bottom of my neck, and sometimes I do have this quite sensitive, and I found that because I left the shampoo on my hair, which I found that agitated me ever so slightly, the conditioner calmed it down a little bit, but then afterwards when it dried, I did feel as though I'd used a product like that. So, not so happy with that, um, but in terms of making the hair feel soft, it's interesting that it says that on the conditioner, that it looks after the hair and it repairs the hair. I actually found that for it saying that, it didn't really make my hair as soft and as sleek as what you would expect from a conditioner, which is telling us that its uh, condition is enhanced by keratin complex that helps to repair damaged hair by infusing moisture for silky and smooth hair. Now, by reading that and looking at the bottle, it looks like cream in here, um, you, and it, like a lotion, which is going to bring so much nourishment to your hair. For me, it didn't at all. So on that note, I wouldn't recommend recommend this for a hair type like I've got, finer textured hair with highlights, and if you are starting to be concerned or they're really, really grown out, unfortunately it's not going to bring you back that, that cool hue, which, um, and that's not again, hey, hey dude, hey cool, and all that type of thing, cool by icy, sort of almost like a grey, bluey type tone um, to the hair, and this does not do that, so particularly if you've got finer textured hair, I don't believe that it conditions particularly well. If you've got... Um, thicker hair um, and you're more of a warmer blonde tone then this may well be helpful for you it doesn't condition particularly very well i don't think so i think you'd have to have stronger and i don't mean density i mean the actual strand of the hair a bit more thicker because if you've already got fine hair and you've already bleached your hair and you use something like this you need that nourishment otherwise ultimately it could possibly break so on that basis okay product um not one i would use uh again the keratin complex on here, don't really understand that because it really done nothing for me. Light reflecting, yes it did, but it made the hair more warmer. So on that basis, I wouldn't use it again. Would I recommend it? Yes, to somebody with quite thicker, coarser, actually individual sort of uh, thickness of hair. Um, I'm not referring to the actual density. I'm actually the thickness of the, uh, the, the hair itself. And if you are a more warmer tone blonde then this would be really good for you if you're naturally blonde then i would just say just forget it because just concentrate on that natural beautiful color which you've got um we're talking about women's hair here if you've got that really lovely natural beautiful blonde hair don't faff around with this at all just concentrate on the nourishment of your own hair because i'm sure it's absolutely amazing already if you're a man and you're watching this and you're looking to freshen up highlights stay away from this, go to the more purple toning shampoos. Like the one from Provoke, I think that's really, really good. Um, this, I'm afraid, not a great fan. So on that note, I feel awful for giving a bad review, but I will only ever do honesty on my channel. I'm all about integrity, all about truth. So if you need to answer any questions, or if you'd like to ask me any questions about anything at all, then please do so. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so, because I absolutely love the comments I get. I love receiving all the views and the subscribers and things. But of course, you don't have to. Everybody's different. This might not be for you, just like this product is not for me. Okay, so with that said, thank you very much for being here. I, it means the world to me, and from the bottom of my heart. Thank you very, very much for sharing your time with me. Okay, so until next time, I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.